What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Level 4. In this video on issue 30 from Build the Ecto 1 which is just here. These are our pieces we're going to pop on. Doesn't look like a big one for this one guys. We will need to obviously go through and do our parts check off. But this is uh, stage 30 rear axle and brake drums so can't wait to do that with you. What we'll do is we'll quickly grab these out of the packaging, run through the parts list and we'll get on with the build. Okay guys, we have now got all the pieces out so we are ready to go on the part checkoff. So they are labeled left and right, so that is really handy. There are left and rights on here. This part of it is metal and so is this part. I mean, I kind of feel like we would need to have that metal anyway because it's gonna be supporting the vehicle. And if you are building this, you will know that this is already huge and very, very heavy uh, and we will need something strong to support the car itself. Right, so the first one is 30A and that is the rear axle bottom. So this is 30A with the bottom cut out and the two pieces that sit down on the back. So that's that. 30B is going to be the rear axle top, which is just this section here. 30C is going to be the differential cover. Um, and that is 30C, which is going to be this one here, the little dome piece. Uh, 30D is a differential housing, which is going to be this uh, cone looking piece. Uh, 30E is going to be the brake drum and there's times two of those and they are the ones that are not detailed. So they're just these um, normal pieces here with the uh, overall with the holes and the raised holes there, not the flat section like this. Uh, 30F and 30G are going to be these two here so obviously there's left and right so make sure you get them right when we're putting them on and then we need cm dm hp and ip screws which i already have laid out here ready to go we now need to flick through to the start of the magazine to see what it wants us to do looks like all we're going to do at the start is join these we will fast forward through doing screws if it takes too long um, but i'm pretty sure that this is going to be quite easy so we need to make figure a so 30b needs to go on top of 30a so all you need to do is place this housing with the cutout on top of there like so and so it looks a bit like that and then in the top here there are two uh, cutouts and we need to put in two CM screws to keep those into place. So we're just going to go do that now. Uh, and I don't think we're going to need a fast forward through. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be too hard um, to just quickly, you know, snap it all together. It's just depending on whether the screws go in nicely. I don't want to do that too tight yet. Um, you know, and whether we need to change the top of the screwdriver. I feel like we should be okay. I'm just going to go quickly put these ones in as well and then we'll quickly have a look at what that looks like so I'm just now popping that around so that's that one so this is what they say they want to call um, figure A so this is figure A figure B is going to be with the cap in place so that's figure A there and then what they're saying for us to do here is on the back section there, not the bit that's got the big hole, but the back section here, we want to put the cover into place. So you just want to pop that cover on there. And then from the inside, we need to put a screw. So IP screw will hold that into place. That's quite a thick screw, an IP screw to be fair. Um, and that's what's going to hold that in. Well, again, I've probably got my screws too close to each other, which isn't great but we should be fine. So I'm just putting that cover into place there. So that's just kind of like a back cover to the to the rear axle. So that's in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a screw in there now and that's holding that back cover on here. So you should still have your section here where we can put this piece into place. This bit is going to be, um, we're making up 30D. So. Uh, so that needs to go into there. They're going to be held on by DM screws. It does show that there's two locating lugs, one at the top, one at the bottom. I don't think it matters what way it goes on. There is kind of like a bottom to it. So I guess this arched bit there, I don't know if you can see that arched bit there, that goes towards the bottom of it. So say this is the top with the two screws, then you want to make sure that the flush bit is at, uh, at the top and the other bit is at the bottom just put it in place and try and show you so if I put a couple of screws in here the four screws it wants I'll show you close up and then you can kind of see how I've done it and what way around it's saying to do it in the magazine 
Okay guys, so that's now done and complete and into place. So that, like I said, there are four DM screws holding that on. So if you can see it clearly enough, there's one, two there, three and four at the bottom. And as I said, with the two screws at the top, this piece is quite flush. As you can see there, there's nothing on top. If you turn it this way round, you will see that there is like a cut ridged in there. So that's where you need to make sure that that's at the bottom with these two pieces that stick out. So if you've done that, then you are onto the right track. So that is that section complete. We'll just pop that down there for a moment. That's quite heavy uh, because it's metal. These bits that we're gonna do now are only gonna be uh, plastic, so we should be okay. Right, so it's asking us to take 30F and it's asking us to attach 30E and then it's making this figure up. We need to do that twice. So if you just make sure you've got right and left, right and left, um, and then on these covers, they don't really show you whether they are right and left or not. But if you just copy the diagram, so say we've got the left one first, and then we want to take this section, just make sure that the holes line up and make sure that the um, the one with the uh, cylinders are at the top, they need to make sure that they stay at the top there because that's how it's gonna be. There should be um, locators to keep it at the top, but we need to make sure that that's correct. So that's saying that for that to be at the bottom, it is saying that there's a little hole there. I'm not sure what that little hole has to do with anything. Um, but we will check which one of these lines up best for it being at the top. I think it's going to be this one. So yeah, so that's going to be that one there, which is perfect. So once you've got it lined up guys, then you need to put the HP screws in place. So I'm just going to go do that now. Uh, we'll go through these and just fast forward through putting these together and then I'll just show you what they look like once they're finished. Okay guys, once you've put those in, as I said, they are the HP screws, then you should have two bits that look a little bit like that. So once you've got that done and you've got this in place, you should have this. So this is the completed section. So if I just turn that up, it's quite hard to hold it. I guess these will go onto this, uh, onto the vehicle. So if we just put them that way around, just so you can kind of get a look at how they'll go on. And you should have it like that. So that'd be like the rear axle ready to go. Let me put that like that. Here you go. And that's it guys. So my arms don't keep sticking to it. We'll see what is going on in the next one. So we do get a lot of information um, about you know, just monsters by the looks of it, how they're done, the prosthetics and, you know, how people are doing stuff. I don't want to ruin it for you because if you guys read these, uh, John Rotterman in there, there's loads of like art, graphics, design showing how, I guess, Slimer was made, how the Marshmallow Man was, you know, thought of when he was done. Again, I don't want to ruin it. We'll go through. Guys, please join me again very soon when we are going to be building these extra four parts here, which will be coming uh, to the channel pretty much in a, a week or two. Uh, please make sure you stay tuned to that. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.